There are times when I help others hold a door. Angie Singer with Old Men Stories Opry. And here we are again in Lamar's, Iowa. And today we're talking with Alan Anderson. I'm glad you came in. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. We tried to get this organized yesterday. And, you know, this is a festival. And we're pulled in 18 different directions. We're busy. Oh, man. They keep you hot. And they're keeping you busy, aren't they? Yeah, they keep me busy. Very much so. And how many shows did you do yesterday? Uh, two. It's just, and I also still work at the golf course oh, while yeah, I'm doing this because I'm from the worker Lamar's. bee, and you live yes, right I here. live in the ice cream capital. Local yes. boy. And I've yet to go over to Blue Bunny. Well, you need to go to the parlor, the ice cream parlor. Yeah, on the my yeah. husband just told me now, he says, when you get done with Nellis, we're going to go well, over to the go. ice cream because we haven't been there. Oh, it's yet. wonderful. And you we want to be able to tell people. The Wells family is very good to the town. They do a lot of things. Well, yeah, this is like a one horse town, right? Isn't that... Kind of the be all end all. There's a lot of businesses here, but they're all tied to Blue Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> and so you work at the golf course. Yeah, I'm retired and I work there part time. So you can still play outside. And yeah, and I sing. Yeah, and I, well, I play guitar and sing. And at the golf course? Um, actually, he told me the other day, he said, you know, he says, we really shouldn't be paying you if you're writing songs while you're mowing. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't. He doesn't pay me that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll give you a little retirement. I want to be outside. Yeah, I just want to be outside. And, be outside. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, and that's kind of like that because I was a kid of farm, trying to drive straight for 400 straight yards. And it's, it's tough to do that kind of thing. But now, you know, I grew up in the city, so I don't know anything about that. However, I did visit a farm not too long ago, and he took me in a machine shed, which I, I thought was going to be a machine shed, but it's a huge, huge building. And he has tractors from little to, to big, and he took me into... One of the big ones, you almost need an elevator with a yeah. little button on it. And they have GPS. GPS. You don't even need, you can sit there in the air conditioning and watch TV in the machine. In fact, the older farmers mess it, it up because they'll touch the toggle thing and it'll throw it out and then they got to start over. Because they'll come to a turn and they'll grab it without a re reaction. Sure. They have to learn how to drive it and just leave they it alone. They have to learn how to not drive it. Not drive it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of like teaching. It is. Isn't isn't you know part of the farming experience and your expertise is being able to it used go to be. straight. Yeah, it down used to the be, lines. but anymore there's so much technology and everything. It's it's way more mm -hmm. a college educated farmer than it is like yeah. my dad was an eighth grade education. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's a it's a whole new world. <laughs> it's a whole new world. And speaking of a, a whole new world and a whole new planet, the first song we're gonna talk about on this C D of yours is called Planet Anderson. Planet Anderson. Well, it's the title song of my CD, and it was written as a dedication to my parents. Um, my only regret is that it, I didn't get it done until they were both gone. Um, so, but I so was thinking about it. Well, actually, what started it was I was in church, and I helped a lady with her coat. And she said, what planet do you come from, a gentleman? And I thought, well, that's how I was raised. I always walked on the outside. Oh. I always opened doors for people, said please, said thank you. And so that's where the song came from. Nice. And uh, there were things in there that, uh, you know, I did on purpose, you know, as far as, you know, we were farm ranchers, so that's brought out, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money, but we had. And um, one line's about, uh, Dad always led the table prayer before we could start feeding. And... Uh, so did my dad. Yeah. I, have, I forget about that. Yeah. You brought it up. Yeah, we, we always ate as a family. Talk. We always ate as a family. We all tried to talk at the same time. And um, another verse has a part in it about uh, um, helping mom wash dishes. And my mom never wanted the dishwasher because she had a captivated audience that would talk to her. You had nothing else to do when you're washing long enough to start to tell her things you'd never tell her otherwise. Uh -huh. and, and she That's liked right. that. Yeah. And uh, so. It was like an important song. It was. It was, an, it was. it was really important to get it done, and it's been really well received. People have really liked it. Good. Well, let's give a listen to this great song by Alan Anderson called The Planet Anderson. Planet Anderson. Children come to know someday They're part of the Planet Anderson Mel and Lois led the way 